Nike fans, uh, Christmas Classic polls. I got, uh, actually got a, a 2009-2010 Upper Deck Series 1 Young Gun Lot. There's supposed to be two hits, I guess, if you will, in here. But we'll, so hopefully, uh, we'll go through it. But hopefully, Matt Bolesky's not the uh, one of them. He, uh, he was a good scorer in junior with Belleville, but uh, signed that big contract with Boston and uh, pretty much has been in the minors ever since. Uh, the next one we got up here is James Wright. Uh, he played for Vancouver uh, when they won the uh, Memorial Cup in 06-07. Uh, uh, he played a couple of games with Tampa, but he spent most of his time uh, in the minors. I think he even went over to Europe. Uh, Mike Santorelli, who... Uh, it was a big goal scorer in uh, yeah, in, in uh, northern Michigan, but uh, couldn't get her done in the NHL. Uh, Max Sharp, uh, kind of up and down, another guy who scored in the NCAA, but couldn't kind of bring the uh, same game to the NHL. Uh, next one's Aaron Gagnon, who was a big scorer with Seattle, I think. Yeah, but uh, again didn't translate to the NHL. Uh, Scott Parse, who's, uh, he, uh, yeah, he's a Hober, Hobie Baker candidate, uh, again, couldn't, uh, bring her up to the NHL, but, uh, this is probably one of our hits. Devin Dubnik, who's, uh, was he a Sea Oiler draft pick? Uh, he also played for uh Phoenix and Montreal and, uh, spent a lot of time in Minnesota where, he was close to winning uh, a Vesna, and now he's backing up um, Martin Jones in uh, San Jose. And we got Danny Irwin, who uh, he's he played with the world or the Americans in the World Juniors. Uh, I don't think he even really played in the NHL. Uh, Cody Franson's uh, from uh, the third guy to come through the Sycamore Hockey Factory. He uh, Played for Nashville for a bit, and uh, also with uh, Toronto, he was uh, actually underrated offensive defenseman. Uh, Matt Corrent, who was I think was a first round pick, yeah, first round pick. Uh, is more of a tougher defensive defenseman. Uh, he didn't have a lot of games in the NHL. Uh, Ryan Keller was with the Blades, you know, Saskatoon Blades, when they were really bad, and then. Actually turned the corner, but uh, I think he went over went overseas, and uh, I don't know if he ever actually played in the NHL uh, regular season game. Uh, David Laliberte was uh, from uh, yeah, he played with uh, PEI, another offensive guy from the queue, but uh, didn't make it in the show. Gillian Debian, uh, tough guy, kind of same story here with everyone else. Uh, really translate or play a lot. Uh, Riku Helenas was, uh, I think, the Tampa Bay's first ever first-round pick, who was a goalie. Vasilevsky, I think, was the second, and everybody knows Vasilevsky, and most don't know who he is. Uh, Peter Regan, uh, again, didn't play a whole lot. Uh, he was with the Senators. He also played a couple games somewhere else, but... Nothing uh, of note. John DeGrin was, uh, I think he was the captain with uh, Swift Current. I uh, played a few games with Calgary, but uh, they had a pretty deep defense back when he was coming up. And Ray Messias was, uh, I think he played for Kamloops, but uh, those are probably the only games he played in the NHL. Uh, Mika Pirella. I didn't even know who that guy is. Uh, looks like he had some good point totals in Sweden, but must have went back. Uh, Grant Lewis, again, uh, definitely not a $6 card. He uh, had 22, 22 points, all assists. Yeah, that probably tells you everything you need to know. Cal O'Reilly was a big assist guy for the Windsor Spitfires. He uh, actually put up some decent assist totals in the NHL, but he I think he went overseas. Oh, Vili Lino, probably one of the worst uh, signings in the last 10 years. Uh, from Detroit, uh, yeah, he signed with 
He was in Philly and uh, Buffalo, I think, for a bit as well. Oh, Vander Kane. I don't even know where to start with Kane. He, uh, so he won a Memorial Cup. I think uh, he played on the same line as uh, Pierre Zabato, but he was two years older. And he had probably, I don't know, 115, 117 points. And Kane was close there with 96. But he had a couple uh, legendary scraps with uh, Reeves. And if uh, all this bankruptcy stuff is actually true, that's... Be problematic for that guy, so that's those are probably our two pull or uh, two hits, anyways. Uh, Sergey Shrokov was uh, a I think he came over this year and then went back and played with uh, Russia. I think he's still playing in the K. Uh, Kulikov was actually one of the better uh, defensemen to come out of Russia in a long time. He's a defensive guy, obviously, and uh, he was with Winnipeg here recently. Oh, Jay Rosehill, the uh, hometown uh, kid, made the show 275 pims. That's uh, that's impressive. Yeah, former old Grizzly, and uh, yeah, that's uh, probably a bonus there. He's going to maybe give Kane a run for his money. Uh, Luca Caputi was a uh, defensive guy in the OHL who couldn't get her in the NHL. And uh, Spencer Matcher, I think, played for Vancouver, too. The Giants that won the World Cup, I think that's four or five of those guys. But, uh, yeah, he didn't really play a whole lot. But uh, time for the MVP. I don't know where Dumix, oh, Dumix right there. So those are definitely your two hits. But uh, I guess for the boys, we'll say uh, Rose Hill is the uh, MVP brought to you by Mountain View Benefits.